Welcome to the What the Fuck Is That podcast, where we ask the age-old question of what the fuck is that? I'm your host, Jess. I'm Jen. I keep thinking <laughs> I'm going to come up with something clever all day when we're about to record, and I <laughs> I just don't. You, you, you dropped the ball today. I no, did. I I'm was totally uh, kidding. I'm totally kidding. She has been doing so much lately, so... <laughs> Uh, we're going to forgive her for that, because honestly, I don't have anything prepared either. Oh, so. okay, cool. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Right now it's October. It's Halloween-y. It is. We're re-recording this episode. Yeah. <laughs> this is one that I thought we had recorded in full after we kind of figured out how we were going to do it. We did not. So I'm like, mm, let's redo that. But it kind of worked out that... We had to re-record this because we got these lovely new microphones from our listener, Bren, and thank you so much. Thank you. I know. We have to get another adapter so we can do both of them, but we already tested it and it already sounded so much prettier and I'm so excited. Yeah. I think that uh, that little song is going to be in a lot better quality now. Right? It's (laughs) so exciting. (laughs) And it'll be an even better quality when we can do both of the microphones. Like and it. it was easy to set up that regardless of instructions. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna go down this again. I'm just saying. Anyways. Yeah. But yeah, it's very exciting. And it's spooky season and it's pumpkin season and <laughs> I had a panic today because I'm like, ah, it's twenty twenty three and it's almost done. Like, I was wondering where this was going. (laughs) You know, monkey monkey underpants. Yes, I know. I'm just like, okay, we're looking, we see the plane, where is it landing? (laughs) I've loved that at this point you've just accepted we're just going to go on the journey with her because (laughs) there is always a method to my madness, (laughs) which Jen has learned at this point. Either that or I just have to be reminded of a conversation we had three days ago. (laughs) Or three hours ago. (laughs) So, behind the scenes, we were having issues finding a recording. (laughs) And Jen's going through her phone and playing all the ones that she had recorded. And just from, like, two lines... (laughs) I went, oh, that's this episode. (laughs) Oh, that's this episode. And she looked at me like I was fucking psychotic. But I mean, to be fair, I forget how often you have to listen to it to edit it. Yeah, at least twice through. Yeah. I listened to everything at least once. And then I listened to like an almost completed copy once more. Do you know which one I could not go back and listen to? What? Like, fully? Why? Last week's. I can't do it at night. I was, was... going to. Creepy Pasta. Oh. Yeah, so we had just released Creepy Pasta last week. Um, was, which one was it that got you? All of them, man. Really? <laughs> but the I, last uh, one in particular, for sure. That was a lot, yeah. I kind of ramped them up. Yeah. I <laughs> So I'm just like, okay, when I'm going to listen back on it, I have to do it during the day. There you go. Because I, well, one, I didn't have my protection with me at the time because. Because you lost it in my laundry. (laughs) Dude, you were, your husband knocked down (laughs) all that shit that was right there. It was me because they were having a meltdown. Yeah. I was like, I could hear the crashing and I'm just like, ignore it sleep. I, mean, I was sleep. like, there's no fucking way. <laughs> I looked over and I was about to be like, sorry. And you were laying there like, she died? I don't have the energy to deal with her. She's dead right now. I'll find her later. <laughs> it was six in the morning. I was like, there's no fucking way she didn't wake up for that. It was six in the morning, and I'm just like, 
I have one more hour to sleep. I can actually sleep in because I'm closer to school <laughs> than I usually am. And I'm just like, just stay asleep. Just stay. Just stay still. You'll go back to sleep, which I did yeah. eventually. Well, that's good at least. Yeah. Like, I was slipping in and out of sleep, like, with all that commotion going on. I, commotion. I mean. Commotion. Yeah. Commotion. It's a good word. I mean, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I mean, I grew up in a Hispanic household. You know, you don't get what that means. Commotion. Do I look like I know what that means? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just... Basically, from like the time that you're a newborn, uh-huh. you're used to sleeping with loud noise, people around, like music blaring. Oh, I do that for the kids. Yeah, no, but like, I mean, anything could be going on. Gunshots, sirens, anything could be going on. I'll still sleep through it. I'm the lightest sleeper. I am so... (laughs) Nah. But then again, with the mom that I have... Yeah. You you know my mom. Yeah. (laughs) She can lay here and go to sleep. sleep. Yeah. She can sleep anywhere. It's not fair. So, uh, definitely learned that from her. It's not fair. So, yeah, it's great. Ooh. I heard that. That was so gross. It felt so good, though. I'm happy for you, but that still sounded so gross. My neck just cracked, and then I'm sure they could I hear had, it. <laughs> I it had was. the moment where I'm like, "Oh, all my vision came back." Okay, <laughs> I'm sure they could hear it. Oh, like, I feel so was... much better. Wow. <laughs> Jeez. Anywho. If you liked whatever the fuck that was, head on over to our Instagram. Our Instagram is WTF is that pod. Over there, you can find all of our fun little goodies for our Instagram followers. You can help us pick out topics. You can see what the upcoming topics are when we release new episodes. And over there, you can also find our link tree. Our link tree takes you directly to our Spotify page. Over on Spotify, if you could give us a review and five stars, that helps the show immensely. Also over on that link tree is our Google Docs form that will take you to the Campfire Scary Story submission for our special Halloween episode. Ooh. Ooh. We are recording that probably within the next week or so from this recording yep. being dropped. So be sure to check that out so that way you get your scary stories in and all that good stuff. But yeah, everything you can find on our link tree and our link tree again is in our Instagram, which is WTF is that pod. All right. Are you ready to jump on into this? Let's do it. Hey, Jess. Hey, Jen. Have you ever heard of Room 428? What the fuck is Room 428? I'd love to tell you. Awesome. So tonight's story is located in Athens, Ohio, at Ohio University. Ooh, okay. This story or this case is the only known case where an American university has sealed off a dorm room. Ooh, that gives me the like heebie jeebies. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> I like the word heebie jeebies. Heebie jeebies. Heebie jeebies. Oh, yeah, but I don't care for that. Well, that's a little. Mm-mm. Well, mm-mm. you're really not going to like this story then. Woohoo! Yeah. Go me. Strap Spooky on your Spooky Halloween. Belt. Exactly. Uh, So this particular dorm room is located in Wilson Hall. Let's get into the history of the dorm. It was built in 1964 and was used as a residence hall for the students. The dorm was originally known as West Green Building No. 5. That's a mouthful. Yes, it is. (laughs) Wilson Hall's a little bit better. A little bit, right? Yeah, it rolls off the tongue a little bit more. A little bit. So the university later named the dorm after Hiram Roy Wilson. That's also a mouthful. Hiram? Hiram. I don't know if I love it or I hate it. Like, I wouldn't name my child that. (laughs) But, like, it's kind of a cool-sounding name. Kind of. At the same time. So maybe, like, a dog. Mmm. A gerbil? Oh, yeah. I like it for a gerbil. I don't know about a dog, but a gerbil. I would definitely name that. A street cat. 
I can name one of my street cats that I like to name the you street do. cats who adopt me just crazy ass you. names <laughs> or I name them after food. Anywho. <laughs> Wilson was a native of Hamden, Ohio. Okay. Okay. He attended Ohio University. Cornell University, and Chicago University. Oh, shit. Okay, big achiever man. Very educated man. You go, Glenn Coco. <laughs> he also received an honorary degree of Doctor of Literature at Franklin, Indiana College. What is an honorary degree? Honorary, basically, like, it was given to him. Like, he didn't really have to go through... Oh, like, the entire academia of Just it. on merit? They were yeah. like, here you go. That's fucking wild. Right? So Wilson became an instructor of chemistry at Ohio University in 1896. Okay. So, I guess that kind of gives you your answer is that Ohio University is pretty old. Yeah, pretty damn old. Yeah. Like, it's been... If he went there and is now teaching there... Yeah. And it's 1896, it's an old... It's an oldie. It's an oldie, yeah. So, he later became a professor of English in 1906. Oh my gosh. He did a lot for this university, okay? He served as a secretary of the faculty and chairman of the executive committee of the English department. Wow, he is a high achiever. And he later became the national president of the Ohio Alumni Association from 1927 to 1929. Wow. Yes. That's impressive. Very accomplished man. He also published several textbooks and magazines. Well, yeah, when you have a repertoire like that. But he was also known as a musician playing the violin, the cello, and the piano. The fact that it's not just, like, him being academically inclined, he's using, like, both sides of his brain. Because even what he was teaching as a professor, he went from chemistry to, to literature. literature. Like, those are two very different sides of your brain that you have to use. And then to throw instruments in. Very, yeah. Like, he's a certifiable genius. That's... Pretty much, yeah. So he finally retired in 1945 after 49 years of working at Ohio University. Oh my gosh. I know. He was one more year to 50. I wonder what happened there. It's the whole old ages of it all. It's... I guess. <laughs> But he did continue to contribute to the university by donating scholarships. He actually ended up donating his entire personal library of over a thousand books in his will. And I'm sure those are some, like, first edition books. Oh, yeah. A man like that, he has the top line books for everything. Oh, yeah. So you can see why Ohio University would want to name a building after this man. Oh, yeah, he deserves at least a building. So let's get into the spookiness of the dorm, shall we? Yeah, uh, yeah, because I thought this was just a nice story about a, a no. nice, smart man, and I forgot that this is a scary story podcast. You should have better, so you. I know, it's on our podcast, so that was a little bit dumb and naive of me, but, um, you know, here we are, so that's, that's that. Yeah, yeah, you ready? You strapped in? Ugh, you ready okay, to go for go. this journey? No, but let's do it. <laughs> All right. So in the 1970s, a male student actually lost his life in room 428. We are just starting off with a bang. We are. The actual circumstances of his death vary, but everyone agrees it was pretty unusual. Oh, that's fun. I also don't like when it's like, yeah, no one can agree on how they died. What do you mean? Yeah. That doesn't make sense. Yeah. So... That's fun, right? I mean, I don't think fun's the word that I would use. It is certainly something that happened. Well, I mean, it's just one mild death, right? (sighs) What's one death in the grand scheme of things? I mean, my head just immediately went to, you have one, well, you gotta give it a friend. Years later, a female student moved into the dorm. She apparently chose the room because of the energy She felt from the room. Oh no, you vulnerable child, you. And she wanted to practice occult work there. (sighs) Who let her take that room then? (laughs) Why were they like, this is a good idea? I don't know. This could have been the 80s. I don't know. (sighs) I don't know, man. It was the 80s. (laughs) 
Exactly. So some students say she claimed to commune with the dead. Again, why no one was like, yeah, maybe we shouldn't give her this room. She's like way too excited that somebody died in it. That's yeah. red flag. Red flag. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of my head. Not long after moving in, the student mysteriously passed away as well, with no one really agreeing on what happened to her. Why? I don't understand. Like, did they just not record it? Did no one say anything? I don't understand why so many people are like, I don't know what happened, she just wound up dead. That's not, no. I don't know. I wonder if they just never got the real story. I don't know. Yeah, don't just know. no one said anything? Like, what? Or they just decided to pass rumors through, because, you know, ghost stories. And it's fun. It's... Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. But I guess, like, yay stories, so... Yeah. But for other students who stayed in the room, they've claimed objects are flying across the room, and whispers that would quickly turn to shouting if ignored. Oh, that's a... that's a strong whatever the fuck that is. Yeah. It's not great, I'm going to tell you that. I can already sense that energy and it's not good. Well, yeah, if they've had to board up the room, I figure it's probably not the best thing. Probably and they probably not. don't want people in there. So. Others have reported seeing the female student who passed away years before unable to leave. Oh, I mean, oh, but like that's kind of what you get. Because... Yeah, you looked for it. You, and I'm sure you enabled it, which yeah. is the worst part. Yeah. Like, maybe if she hadn't been in there doing whatever the fuck she was doing... Provoking it. Exactly. Yeah. It wouldn't have gotten so strong. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? Get out of my head. Stop! <laughs> Get the fuck out of my head. Have you known me for multiple years or something like that? Stop saying what I'm saying. Oh, you know, just, just 14 years. So, I'm gonna go ahead and terrify you for the night. As if you don't all the time already, but sure, just exactly. lay it on me thick. Are you ready for the demonic face? Oh god, no. Well, I don't like the noise. glee that you said it with. Like, it was very concerning. <laughs> What was with the cackle? <laughs> that was a laugh. That was a low grumbling <laughs> cackle. Anyways, I'm going to terrify you now. The university had actually continued to ignore the reports of any paranormal activity occurring in the room. Yeah, I know. As if two kids didn't already die in that room. Yeah, and a lot of people saying that things are flying, things are... Shouting at you, like... I can understand ignoring one or two. But, like, multiple people yeah. were coming through this room. Exactly. And you're getting the same report every time. Maybe just go hang out in it for a while and see. You know, maybe. Your curious mind doesn't get the better of you? Apparently not. Oh my goodness. But they really couldn't ignore the demonic faces that kept appearing in the grain of the door. No, don't like that. <laughs> So the university assumed it was students vandalizing the door, and they just kept replacing it. But the faces would continue to appear time and time again. Like different doors? They were replacing the door? They were replacing the entire door. And somehow, someway, that face would still come up within the grain of the door. I, I don't even... Go look up the face. Okay, but, like, if somebody's a skeptic... I'll go on my thing about this. If somebody's a skeptic, imagine that happening. Yeah. You can't fucking get away from that. No. So it took us 50 years to find this picture, and we'll post it when we post about this episode, so that way you guys don't also have to take 500 years to see it. Okay, and now let's see it, because I haven't even looked at it yet. I just wanted to say it so I don't forget later. You ready? No. No! Yeah. Like, that's very clearly a face. And the eyes are so pronounced in all of them. Yeah. 
That's the worst part. I know. I really don't like it. Yeah, it's the eyes. Yeah, especially that first one I showed you. Yeah. I just, oh my gosh, I keep, I can still feel the tingles from it. Like, I don't like it. So, they got these doors, looked them over. I'm assuming didn't see any demon faces on it. That's what I'm assuming when as they well, put yeah. put them on. And yeah. then, like, overnight these things appeared. Yep. Basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, reports from students kept coming in and students requesting to transfer out of the room that the university just decided to seal off room 428 permanently. They're like, it's not worth all the paperwork. Seriously. We'll just close it. Because I highly doubt they've admitted it. I'm sure they're just like, oh. Well, I mean, apparently this is also on a TV show called uh, The Scariest Places or something like that. Oh, that's fun. We'll have to definitely look into that episode. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And so to this day, that dorm is actually still sealed off to students. Oh, really? Yes. But students still report hearing footsteps from inside the room at night. <gasps> no! Uh, that's even more ominous than yeah. if it wasn't sealed off. Because you could just be like, oh, I thought I saw Billy leave his dorm, but I guess not. Ha ha. But if it's a sealed off room, yep. there is no denying that. Nope. So that's great, right? That's something. Yeah. Okay, you ready to continue? All right, let's go. So we're coming to the cemetery. Who in their right mind? <laughs> the urban planning of it all. Oh, just wait. So, history states Wilson Hall rests on a cemetery for the Athens Mental Institute. Oh, we're just throwing everything in there. How many fucked up things can we put? Yeah. Jeez. Just wait. It gets worse. How? Oh, you'll see. So... This is now called the Mental Medical Center, which opened in 1874. Okay. The asylum quickly became overrun with patients, obviously. As you do, because you just, sometimes you throw your people away in an asylum in the 1800s, and that's just what you did. Difficult or unruly patients were punished by being dumped into tubs of ice-cold water, and electroshock therapy became normal. Uh you know, like you do with the times, that's obviously... No, why not? Just <laughs> Why not? It's fine. <laughs> it should be fine, right? I'm sure you'll be right. <laughs> the wilder and unmanageable patients underwent lobotomies. Of course they did. Yeah. Eventually, I would love to do an episode on lobotomies. Yes. And Rosemary Kennedy. Ugh, yes. So good. It's very interesting. I mean, like, not so good, like, so good, but, no. like, so good and, like, oh, that's creepy and compelling, you know. It, it, yeah, it's, it's a good topic to, to discuss. So mediums have also stated the residence hall is in the center of a pentagram created by five surrounding cemeteries. Who, again, <laughs> I told planned you it gets this? Worse. The amount of urban planning... <laughs> I told you I it gets worse. But, like, how do you fuck up that bad? Like, that's a lot. I don't know. That's a lot. But you did. And, uh... <laughs> but you did it. But you did it. You know, so that's why they believe Room 428 has become a portal between the supernatural and the living. Of course. Yes. Yeah. yeah, no. Yeah. Don't put two mirrors together in there. Nope. You fucked. Yeah. Oh, God, no. Could you, Could you imagine? imagine? Get so. out of my brain. It's the third time tonight. <laughs> That's enough. I'm pretty sure that was like the fourth. That's enough. You need to get out of my head. You get out of my head. You need to get out of my head. My head. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> that wraps up my story there. That was so good. Thanks. I'm and, glad you enjoyed it. And terrifying. I wonder if there is a Zach Bagman 
episode. I don't know. We'll have to go look into it. But yeah, thank you for that story, I guess. You're welcome. Are you ready for my spooky fact? No, but you're gonna tell me anyways. Yes, I am. Okay, let's go. Alright, well, since we uh, decided to end with cemeteries, this is gonna involve a, a coffin. The way <laughs> that my tummy just kind of dropped when you said that. <laughs> like, I'm like, I can deal with cemeteries, and you said a coffin, I'm like, that's not... That's not what I wanted <laughs> to hear out of your mouth. Well, too damn bad. Okay, here's my spooky fact. Okay. Ready? I don't know why I ask if you're ready. You're never going to say yes. I absolutely will not. Are you out of your goddamn mind? One of these days, I have a feeling you're going to say yes just to trip me up, though. <laughs> you're going to be like, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know what to I do. do. <laughs> I guess we're not having a fact today. Like, I just... <laughs> That's exactly what I would do. Alrighty. So, if a coffin is sealed tightly, like, so, so tightly enough... Okay. Gases can build up from the decomposing body. Okay. And essentially explode and leak out. I don't... Yeah. I... So it's just a coffin of goo. This is why I want to (laughs) do one of those, like, where they put you into, like, the little earth sacks, and then you turn into a tree. Oh, yes. I want to be a tree. (laughs) Did you see the TikTok I sent you? There was a TikTok sound that I sent that I was like, it's wild to think that The body that Mm -hmm. you were in, in your previous life, is now somewhere buried. Oh, no. (laughs) No. It's buried somewhere on this earth. I don't like that. (laughs) That's also very presumptuous of you, that this is the only planet that we can reincarnate on. I mean, fair, but... But this is also from the person who has just accepted reincarnation. That is also very true. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, somebody, I was looking through, like, past life things, and they were like, yeah, well, you might not have even been on Earth. I went, like, fucking excuse me. (laughs) I didn't even think about that possibility. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. Like, thanks, you just kind of opened up that door for me. You're welcome. If I have to be haunted by that (laughs) thought and that realization, so do you, baby boo. Well, I mean, to be fair, I've had two, was it two previous lives shown to me? Yeah. Yeah, and I'm fairly certain that I'm human in them, so... I have I two. Mean, I have two bodies on this earth somewhere. Assuming here, that I can Here's get my teammate. here's my thing. Huh? You felt human, but because you're human now, that's the only feeling that you know that you can remember. I mean, fair, but I don't. So think... your body is a body. That's fair. What? I don't know. Stop tripping out. <laughs> <laughs> and with all that weird random spookiness, if you liked everything you heard today, head on over to our Instagram. Give it a little follow. Go ahead and check out that pretty little link tree that's together. Over there you will find the link to our Spotify, the link to our Patreon, and the link to our campfire stories. Please, please, please don't forget to send those in. We will be recording those in about a week, and we want to make sure that everyone gets their spooky campfire fire stories in and make sure you are liking and rating this podcast over on Spotify. That is the very best way to help us build our show. Thank you all for supporting us. Um, bye. 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 B